power. Power can be perceived in many ways. Is it knowledge, fame, fortune or the amount of contacts in your phone? Is it innovation, entrepreneurship or the ability to save and end a life? What do we see as powerful? When you think of a powerful person, some of you would think of a tall, broad, muscular bodybuilder whose power comes in the form of strength. Others of you will think of a smartly dressed professional in a crisp white shirt and iron suit. But do these images really depict power? Is power just in the form of physical strength, money or control? What about the power of people, speech and free will? Can you really define power? Does everyone have the ability to be powerful? Let's backtrack a minute then. Who is powerful? According to Forbes, Barack Obama is currently the second most powerful man in the world right now, just behind Vladimir Putin. Angela Merkel is fifth, David Cameron comes in at 11th place, and Mark Zuckerberg at 24. Not bad for a 29 year old. So what is it that makes all these people powerful? They're all rich. Is it money that makes you powerful then? Make a few billion dollars and yep, that's it, you're officially a powerful person? Hmm, I don't think so. Can power be resisted? Riots, protests, strikes, boycotts and assassinations are all ways in which power has been and can be resisted. People will stand up and let their voice be heard in order to support what they believe in. Does resistance give us power? Resistance is the act of opposing or withstanding power. It's having the guts to disagree and do something about it. With enough people willing to support, the more and more powerful the resistance becomes. So is it not powerful to go against the majority? Does resisting give you power? So, what is power? Ultimately, you cannot really define power. It is subjective, perceptive and personal. It is your own opinion, your own experiences, to which no one has the right to change.